One of Lane County's most popular health care providers is leaving many patients without an option to get health care after several doctors with Oregon Medical Group have left the practice. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Templeman. I'm Renee McCullough. Renee McCullough, you called and we listened. We have been getting all kinds of calls and emails from patients who were dropped without any warning. It is our top story tonight. KEZI 9 News reporter Jennifer Singh shows us why so many patients are so frustrated and what options they might have from here. So I was going to take another blood test in March and the tech at uh, OMG said, oh, our lab's going to be moving over to Westmoreland on Chambers. We're closing the building. And I went, what? Okay, well, uh, is Dr. Goodrich moving? Uh, I don't know. And then we got the letter that she's leaving April 15th. This has been the recent story for many patients of Oregon Medical Group. The practice has been serving patients across Lane County for more than 30 years, but it was recently bought out by healthcare giant Optum, a subsidiary of United Health Group, the largest healthcare company in the U.S. But the healthcare giant has recently been mailing out a letter that is catching many of its patients off guard. For many of our viewers, this letter may look familiar as it's one many patients with Oregon Medical Group have recently received. It explains their primary care provider is leaving and the medical group is no longer going to consider them a patient. And it basically said, uh, we don't have anybody to assign to you, so good luck and uh, take off. <laughs> that was it. The letter comes after a recent report in the Oregonian stated that according to the Lane County Medical Society, 32 doctors have left OMG in the last two years. And now there are not enough physicians to give patients within the group a replacement. What's the exodus all about? Why are all the doctors leaving? In the letter, Oregon Medical Group says they do plan on reaching back out to patients as they add more providers and welcome more patients back into the clinic as they prepare to expand services of digital and telehealth. But there's no date for exactly if or when patients may receive a call or message back. You read it, they go, okay, they're getting their act together and as they bring people on, but will they be able to bring people on? If people are exiting, What's going to be incentivized for the people that are staying? The letter does provide a list of other clinics accepting new patients, but many people tell me the remaining clinics are swamped with current patients and many looking to join. I think they should have a better plan for their ex-patients. Another option for people looking for a new doctor is direct primary care. Family medicine physician and former OMG employee, Dr. Nicholas Jones, told me over the phone you can also check with your insurance to see if you have a list to go off of that can help identify ways to find physicians. I think that there's still a lot of really strong doctors doing the best that they can with the, the system that's in place to try and give access to the current patients that are still there. In Eugene, Jennifer Singh, KEZI 9 News. According to Eugene State Representative Nancy Nathanson, reports of Oregon Medical Group losing doctors and patients is a symptom of a greater problem affecting Oregonians, the corporate purchasing of local health care providers, which she says is especially affecting people in Lane County. Yeah, we met her in front of the recently closed Southtown Medical Clinic owned by Oregon Medical Group. She says the amount of doctors leaving OMG and patients being impacted by their departures in Lane County is not an isolated situation. Nathanson says business practices that she suspects OMG owner Optum is using could create an even worse crisis in Oregon and Lane County. She says work can be done at the legislative level to reverse business practices that impact patients, especially reversing non-compete agreements that prevent doctors who leave OMG from practicing on patients after they've left. However, people could get access now if we can make sure that Optum can do the right thing, notice uh, it, take notice of the crisis that's developing here and just agree not to enforce that non-compete agreement, then we can have doctors seeing patients in Lane County now. She says if that does not happen, then it could be a painfully long wait for patients to see change. That's because it will take until the next legislative session next year to work with lawmakers and enact any new laws to change what she calls a health care Crisis. Now, we did reach out to Optum for more information about the situation at OMG, and the only statement they gave us was, as is the case across the healthcare industry, when a physician departs, we notify impacted patients and do our best to transfer their care to other providers. The health and well-being of our patients is our top priority, and we are working with patients to ensure they have access to high-quality care.